Welcome to a new vlog. If you're new here, my name is Kim. I'm a second grade teacher in West Michigan and this is day two of classroom setup. I just got here and I already have my mom put to work over there in the bright pink. Don't know if you can see her so far away, but she is going to be working on my leader wall, which I talked about in my last vlog. I'll come show you what she's working on. I'm like bringing my whole entire tripod around, so <laughs> it's a little bit of a struggle. Okay, so basically what she's going to do is take down all of the ones like all these ones right here on the metal that's like our heater heating unit thingy so she's gonna take all of those down because they just fall down all the time because my classroom does not have air conditioning and so it gets like super hot and humid in here and things just fall off of the wall so what she's going to do is put painters tape on the like metal unit and then put hot glue over it fun life hack that way it doesn't ruin the walls you can put hot glue on that and then if you have cinder block in your room like this is cinder block right over there then you can just hot glue right on it and it will peel right off I've done that every year it should be laminated though it doesn't work as well if it's just like paper because then the little paper remnants get everywhere but as long as it's laminated you can just hot glue right on the cinder block and that works really well so mom is already here we've already chatted with some co-workers I got some Starbucks this morning so that was really very exciting I got an iced chai I did ask mom if she wanted something but she's not a Starbucks girly so she said no so this is my order it is an iced chai with almond milk super excited about that so I need to make a game plan for what I'm going to do today. I have like bins everywhere and things to organize and put away. So I'll probably be here most of the day today. I think mom's gonna be here for a couple hours and then she has plans. So she's gonna work on the later wall and then I don't know how long that will take, but potentially probably just that today. And then I am going to work on organizing. I'll probably be here until like two or three and then I'm gonna go out to dinner with my husband and he has some family in town, so we're gonna hang out with them. So yes, it's going to be a good day and I will take you along to show you all of the things. So woohoo for setup day two. Okay, so it's been quite a few hours since I saw you last, but I ended up going out for lunch with my best friend Melissa, and then we went to a few stores, and one of the stores that we went to was Five Below, and I found some really fun things, so I'm gonna share them with you. So the first thing that I got is this basketball net, or like little mini hoop, and I was inspired by Anna Kidd, who is one of my favorite teachers on like Instagram, TikTok, all the places, but she has like a little basketball hoop in her room, and I'm like, wait, I want one in mine. So I saw this for $5, and I couldn't leave it behind, so I got that. And then also right in that same section, they had this beanbag toss for $5. And it's like a nice wood beanbag toss and it's super cute it's like orange and pink which i feel like is very trendy right now and yeah i just feel like this could be really fun for review games and stuff like that so i'm excited about this i think it does come with bean bags as well i think they're in this part so let's see it says that it comes with one board four bean bags a marker a net and there's some assembly required so yeah super fun stuff for review games and then also i found some really cute t-shirts so I'm a huge t-shirt girl. As you can tell, I'm wearing a t-shirt right now. And pretty much all summer, I just wear like big t-shirts and shorts. But then during the school year, I like wearing t-shirts that aren't quite so big <laughs> and wearing them with like my pixie pants or other teacher pants that I have. So I got one shirt that is just for like summertime fun, like right now. And it's this one. So this one I'm just gonna wear like around with my shorts this summer. It says vibin' and thriving and like how stinking cute is that and melissa got the same one i saw it and i was like i have to have this these were 5.55 but they're a lot nicer quality than the normal five below shirts so i'm excited about that and then i also got this one i saw this and i was like okay yeah i need this it says you are you and that's cool so super excited to wear this one to school i love a good teacher tee and then i got this one that i could wear at home or at school this was the only size they have so it will be a little bit oversized but it's so cute, it just says be kind. And then it has this cute little frog. So yes, I could wear this like around town with shorts, but also I could wear it to school if I tuck it in. So super cute, I was really excited about those. So my biggest project has just been going through like all of these bins and sorting all of them. You can see all of them in the background. 
And then I use these Dollar Tree bins that I got to work on like putting pretty much all of my stem bin supplies into these. And they worked really, really well for this. I do want some more of like the deeper ones, but this is what they had. So this is what I have for now. And then if I do stumble on some more of the deeper ones, then I'll definitely get some more of those as well because they're just like really, really nice size. So that took up a lot of my day. It was just like sorting through all of this stuff and trying to organize a little bit better. And I need to keep working on that. I'm gonna work in the back room just a little bit more before I go. I don't wanna stay too much longer because I did spend quite a while running around with Melissa and like getting lunch and stuff. So I don't wanna stay too, too much longer, but I am gonna work on just a couple more projects before I go. And yeah, I think the first thing I'm gonna work on <laughs> because I have like so many little projects in my brain that I wanna do. I don't really feel like prioritizing right now. I'm just gonna do whatever sounds fun in the moment. So one thing that I thought of is I am going to put Velcro on the back of all of my little remotes. I have like three of them. I have this one, which is for my fairy lights. Way off, off like that. And then on, on, on. So this one is for my fairy lights around the room. So I'm gonna put a little Velcro dot on it. And then I'm gonna put it to my Chromebook cart and put a little label above it that says fairy lights. And then one for my projector and one for my LED lights at the front of the room. So I think that will be helpful for when I have a guest teacher or when I'm asking my kids to like go grab me one of the remotes so they can see which one is which. Okay, so I think this is going to be pretty much all for setup day two. I'm going to take you around the room, show you what it's looking like right now, and then talk to you about what I did today and what I still plan on doing. So here we go. Okay, so this is what this area is looking like. My bins are still everywhere. I'm gonna make a plan for those eventually, but I don't know what it is right now, so I'm just leaving them. They're organized by size and type of bin, and I don't know what's going in them at this moment. I might just store them. I don't know, but they're just sitting out for now. And then these bins are sitting out for right now. Eventually, I'm gonna find a good spot for them in the back room, but organizing the back room is on my list to do for next week, or maybe even this weekend if I end up coming in this weekend. I do have a lot of homework for my master's though, so we'll see. But a lot of work got done on the back of the room today, like my student teacher space. This is what the back of the room is looking like right now, my student teacher space. I wanted to hang up some cute little signs over here. And then this is her stuff all over here organized. And then also I hung up my bathroom passes. We have two different bathrooms that the kids can use. There's one that's near the office and one near kindergarten. So one says kinder pass and then one says office pass. So that way they're not going to the same bathroom. So yes, I have those hanging up back here I laminated some stuff that I still need to put away so I made a new snack bin label and then I like to keep the fruit separate so the bananas don't get smushed so I'm gonna have a separate little bin for fruit usually it's bananas every once in a while we get apples too but I just don't like them to get all gross and then snack bin will be like anything that's dry type goods that will stay good so this is a bigger sign because it's gonna be for a bigger bin this will be a smaller bin and then my mom worked on hanging up the leader ball this morning we did realize though that for whatever reason the last I think three rows will not stay on very well and so they need magnets so I have a few of these little magnets that I was able to attach to one to see if it will hold up that way and I think I'm gonna have to go pick up some more of those sticky magnets so that way I can use them on the rest of those ones and then hopefully that will work but yeah it's looking really really good I saw this on my teachers pay teachers if you're interested and then yesterday I worked on setting up all of the book bins and little supply bins I can't remember if I showed those at the end of the day yesterday but I have those all over here and then I made some more little book box labels for those last four boxes but I need some more little adhesive pockets and I haven't been able to find them at Target so I did just order some from Amazon they were like way more expensive but I didn't know what else to do so I went ahead and ordered those and then I still have all these notebooks back here these are just waiting for labels but I do need to wait till I get my class list because the 
the labels for these are going to have the students' names on them. So I just have those set up and I hope that we're gonna get our class list by early next week. And then hopefully when my student teacher comes next week, I can have her help me by putting the labels on these books. That would be awesome. And then we can start putting those in students' seat sacks. So I have these seat sacks on all the chairs. And then these just need the stickers off still. So again, I'll probably have her do that next week or I'll work on it next week. So I have all of those and then these need the stickers removed. This is our Cognate binder from last year. So I just wanna have all of the little papers removed so that way we can start over this year. Also, I put together the little basketball hoop up there from five below. It looks really cute. I don't know if it's gonna stay there or not because it might be distracting. So I might take it down at least for the beginning of the school year and then put it up and then it will be more exciting and then I can teach the kids like how we're gonna use it. But I wanted to see if it would stick and stay on there with like the heat and humidity. So I'm gonna leave it up over the weekend and then see if it's still up by the next time that I come in. But yeah, the room's looking really, really good. Obviously still a mess with the bins and stuff, but not too bad. Like I could easily just stick those in the back room if I need to. And the back room is still a bit of a disaster, but that is coming soon. I also did make a plan. I'm gonna get like a really long dowel or like rod and hang it from the ceiling tiles. And then I ordered two shower curtains. So I'm hoping that those will go like most of the way to the ground. And then that will hide all of that fun stuff because even if it's organized, I feel like it's just like really overstimulating and distracting and just looks like really messy, which granted like right now it's not super organized. You can tell there's just like stuff everywhere that needs to be organized a little bit better. But yeah, I'm going to hang up a couple shower curtains and hopefully that will help to hide some of that and just make it to look a lot more aesthetically pleasing back here. And then this area I need to clean up as well. Some of this stuff I'm just hiding back here until I teach the kids how to use it. So like the scoop rockers, beanbag chair, all those pillows, those will come out eventually. I just don't want to have like too much out right away. I made that mistake last year and I don't think I'll ever make that mistake again. I just feel like it's a lot better to bring it out later once I've like taught the kids how to use it and then just have like less in the room to start with. So yeah, that's what the back room is looking like. Still a lot of work to be done. Also, I kind of want to make some new labels for these ones. My mom put little stickers or like post-it notes on the ones that don't have labels so we could see what was inside and see what I need to make labels for, but I have not done that. But yes, lots of work to still be done, especially back here with some organizing, but honestly, overall, I'm feeling really good and it's just been good to be back in the classroom again. I love classroom setup. I think it's really fun and it's especially fun when I'm not like stressed out about it, when I don't like have to be here setting up all the time. I can kind of just like slowly do it. That's been awesome. That is all for setup day two. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to take a moment and subscribe so you don't miss any of my future setting up videos as well as back to school videos, open house videos, vlogs, all the good stuff. I'm gonna have a student teacher this year, as you know, because I keep talking about it because I'm so excited. And so I'm hoping that in having her in here, that will help to just like reach a lot of my students better and help me to just stay really organized and stuff because I'm gonna have to be planning like ahead of time with her and stuff. And so I'm hoping that with that extra organization and responsibility, I guess, that I will also be able to vlog more and feel more excited to vlog stuff because I'll be like talking through it anyways. So yes, I'm super excited about that. So look out for lots of vlogs. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.